Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be starting Midnight Poppy Land episode 1 to 2. I have read this, I mean, I think all the way up to episode 40 before I stopped and picked up my reading for other webtoons. So yes, my style of reading is a little bit different. I narrate differently, I react differently, and I do voice act out the characters. But if this is something you guys like, definitely subscribe, leave a thumbs up, and let's go ahead and get started. And just an FYI, I do have the blur 50% of each episode due to Webtoon's new policy. So yes, cat logo is going up. But anyone out there who do want to like support me, I do have all this on my private channel where I don't have to censor and bring up the cat logo. It's all available on patreon.com slash cktchaotic. Let's go ahead and get started. Life is made up of a series of dots. <laughs> Stop it, that tickles. At times, you'll feel like nothing seems to make sense. How do you always find the most ticklish spots on me, Jerry? Because I know every spot on you. Oh, God, Jerry, you're such a tease. But Poppy. Maybe you'll ask yourself, why is this happening to me? Wait, wait, wait. Wh what are you doing here? I didn't know you were coming today. Oh, you have a guess? Is that your high school sweetheart? The one that kept s saying she wasn't ready? <laughs> Just shut up, Mimi. Babe, it's not what you think, I swear. What do you th What should she think? Like, you have literally lipstick all over your face. Mimi's interning at the place I work at. I'm just helping her with some c college assignment. I, I didn't think you would come home uh, without calling either. I did, but you didn't answer, so I left a voicemail. Guess you were too busy giving lessons to check. Sorry. I'll see you around. Click. Wait, Poppy. Let her go, baby. You won't even need to break the news to her now. He had his flyer down? But when you look back at your life... Shit. Ba-boom. 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 Shit. 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 I'm not gonna cry. I'm not going to cry. Ba-boom. <gasps> no, no. Not gonna cry over cheating jerk. Oh, darn it. Hurts. Great. I was gonna ask Jury for a ride back to the train station. Obviously not gonna happen now. You see that the dots are all connected. Oh. No, seriously. They really are connected. It's still around. The scooter I gave to Jury right before I left for the city. <sighs> I can't believe I just walked away, all calm and composed. I definitely, darn it, I'm definitely going to regret this tonight. Kind of like when you meet some asshole on the streets and the perfect witty retort only comes to you several hours later. Or in my case, maybe a few days later. Or a few weeks. Seriously though, how was I supposed to react? Slap him? Scream at him? It's not as if I lived my life preparing for this day to happen and I have every reaction pre-rehearsed. That and I just want to get as far from him as I can. Maybe that's not the most satisfying thing to do, but I'm just, I'm just not the confrontational type sort. But what if, what if this was all because of me? Did he get lonely? The moment you blame yourself, like, no. It's just, it's not a good excuse for any person to cheat on you just because they felt lonely or they just need someone to make them feel good about themselves. Like, no, cheating is not the answer. You break up with them and you move on. I mean, we're in a sort of long distance relationship because I left this town to work in this, this big city, so... Was this all my fault? Whatever. Darn it. I need to blow my nose. There's mucus dribbling across my face. Oh, maybe he cheated on me because he finds me gross. Boom. Oh. God. Oh. Ow. 
Ow, ow. <laughs> you stupid jerk! <sighs> I hope your dick shrivels up and falls off! A few hours early, earlier at Naran City. Uh, my neck is killing me. Who the fuck's calling this early in the day? It was that damn princess again, I swear to God. Goliath, today. Last seen today at 11.05. I'm at this countryside town, Moonbright. I'm outside the train station right now, right by the signboard. You're gonna come save me. They're gonna kill me if you don't come. I don't know how much longer I can hide. Maybe an hour or so my, before my battery dies. Goliath. The f- That's funny. You must have mistaken me for someone that gives it. So, you gotta come save me. They're gonna f kill me if you don't come. You gotta come save me. They're gonna f***ing kill me if you don't come. You gotta come save me. They're gonna... Shh. sake. For sake. Ugh. Catching a break on my f***ing day off. Obviously too much to ask for. The hell was I even thinking? God, how long have I been crying for? I need to get back to the office now. Though, I gotta admit, this was pretty cathartic. Darn, I didn't even notice my arms and knees are bleeding and my favorite pair of jeans is torn. <laughs> Ugh, wait, my shirt was... As well, holy! And my notes, I spent all day putting them together. Darn it, I'll fix my shirt later. The last train back to Naran, C Naran City should be arriving soon. I'll be stuck here till tomorrow if, it's, if I miss it. And there is no way I want to risk bumping to that dirt bag again. <sighs> what on earth? Moonbright train station. <laughs> what the f is that little bastard? Can't get through there to his phone. Oh! Huh? God damn it. There's a woman involved in this. I wasn't planning on taking this out uh, with me. If I'm gonna save both their asses. Tch. You better not make me use it. <laughs> Moonbright train station. Oh. So it's just this girl. It doesn't look like there's anyone else's here. Where the f- uh -oh. And you're a jerk too! I'm sorry, I didn't mean to take it out on you. I'll call for a tow truck to get come get you as soon as I can. T -t 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 <sighs> huh. Delay me on tart research paper. What the hell is it? Bzz, bzz. Bronzo. Bzz. What'd you want? Yo, boss. Big Boss ba Bothman is looking for you. Some meeting he wants you to attend. Oh, call if he needs me. Something else came up? Got it. Uh, what's going on? You need backup? It's Goliath. Goliath! That double, li that little double crossing. Cut. Are you still kidding me, boss? You're still in contact with that. Hey, ch Chief Schmuster, it's me. I got the info you want. Get your men ready for some action. <sighs> what do I want to exchange? Oh, it's simple enough. 
Just remove all of my past criminal records from your system. Get the fuck down! Besides, I'm just a small fry. You won't gain anything by arresting me. Plenty of bigger fish in the sea for you, am I right? So what's the matter with Goliath? He got bumped off by his clan or what? Maybe. What? Are you serious? That would be f amazing. Can't say I'm surprised they're there, but damn. Little bit coming from him. That's all I'm ca I can say. Hello? Boss? Hello? You're there? Hello? C Is this why Goliath was being chased down? But it's just a single page. There should be more of it. Huh. It's fine. It's nothing. It's fine. It's nothing. Just some sick prank someone pulled to scare people. Duh. Still, maybe I should report this to the cops? But what if someone was just eating some chocolate and it melted all over his shoe? I mean, that kind of thing happens to me all the time. And if it was just a prank, um, I'd be reprimanded for some for making a fuss out of nothing. And for wasting their time. And it's not like I found an actual foot or some body part. Uh, I'm sorry, my mysterious chocolate bloody shoe. If, you're re if you really are a mystery that needs to be solved, You'll have to wait till someone smarter and braver than me finds you. I can only make a tiny knot, but this should hold my shirt together till I get back. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Your filet mignon tart article needs to be ready by tomorrow. <gasps> Don't get distracted now. You got this. Uh, uh ticket office. Hey, yeah, where to? Well, where are you heading? If you don't know, check the map. Oh. Yeah, but Christ, these goddamn maps are confusing us. Forget about the damn map. Maybe you can help me instead. See, I was wondering where this girl bought tickets to. Wavy brown hair, pink and white striped shirt. She's a friend of mine, but we got separated and I can't reach her. Any idea? Oh. Are you from around here? You look like you'd be up for some fun tonight. Hey, I you're holding up the line. Get a f room. <sighs> the death glare. G Listen. I do remember seeing her, and I'll tell you where she was heading in exchange for your number. How about that? Let's try it the other way around. What? What other way around? How about you tell me where she's heading first? Then I'll give you my number. Oh god, did he just go from casual and friendly to scary and tense just like that? I uh, she, Naren City. She bought a ticket to Nar Naren City. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Thanks, sweetheart. Contact added. I'll call you tonight or later. I'll call you later. Hey, get to work or I'm reporting you. Shut up, old man. Ronzo, can you run a background check on someone without an ID from them? Sure thing, boss. I can hack into the system. I'll take longer without an ID, but nothing I've never done before. Just send me in a photo of this person you're checking up on. Just one thing. This will only work if the photo is a full, clear shot taken from the front. Hello? <sighs> It's me, counter lady. Excuse me, exactly what type of sausage are you talking about? Hell no! Wait, what? Hell no, I'm not calling to order chicken and cheese sausage! Oh, that jerk gave me a fake number, why? Did I just fucking play? God damn it, I should have known! Men who look like that are always trash, damn it! 
Sorry guys, I was trying to figure out what kind of voices to do for some of the ladies that are just like there but not a long-term character so yeah anyways if you guys enjoyed the way i read and the way i react to these webtoons definitely subscribe leave a thumbs up drop some comments if this is the type of webtoons that you guys would love for me to continue and i will catch you guys next time bye